beautiful people of YouTube, my name is Scully, and welcome back. Today, I decided to stray away from games that I normally cover to take a look at a game that has been tearing at my heartstrings since its inception. Absolver is an online multiplayer combat game, but it is not your ordinary combat game. In fact, one feature in this game makes it stand out from all the rest. So, let's dive in and examine why this game is so unique. Absolver sets you in a wasteland of sorts, where you must fend for yourself as you try to feed all Mark ones in your attempt in becoming a Absolver. The scenery, although beautiful, leaves you with a feeling like people just got up and left. Later you find out why, but I won't spoil anything since the game does lack a bit of a story. The game gives you access to an open world and lets you explore without really holding your hand, much like Dark Souls. In between major destinations, you'll find nodes, which will allow you to rest, customize armor, weapons, access PvP, the shop, and most importantly, edit your combat deck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where the game shines. Your combat deck allows you to customize your own fighting style, giving you the ability to interchange kicks, punches, stuns, interrupts, essentially crafting your own fighting style that is personal to you. More moves can be learned from schools, NPC, PvP, which you can also add to your deck, giving you endless combinations. Schools are essentially like clans. Mentors or clan leaders can give you access to fighting moves or complete fighting styles that one might find difficult to obtain, so joining a school is definitely a benefit in most cases. Along with this, mentors can share their own combat decks, allowing for in-depth sparring sessions, which I think is pretty neat. One of the factors that I enjoy the most is that you can't pay your way to get better. Much like Rocket League, progression in this game comes from actually playing or engaging in difficult PvE or PvP fights. However, despite all these wonderful features, the game has lent host to a myriad of issues, whether it be a severe lack of content, overpowered movesets, a vast landscape that at best of times feels like a ghost town, or patches that have rendered moves or playstyles near useless. But of all of these, the fact that developers have completely ceased development on the project after releasing their latest update, Downfall. Which is actually quite fitting. So basically the company has already confirmed that updates for this game is um, basically out of the question. They're done with updates. Um, they're done with working on the game in general. So a lot of things that was should have been coming to the game has not made it. Um, so yeah, we have that out of the way. A lot of things they uh, promise has not come yet. And uh, without that, it's kind of dead. After doing some more research, a Reddit post by Nano Hollow Guys explains that the development team was adding free content to the game for about six months. Eventually, the team decided it was no longer financially viable to continue doing so. Towards the end, the OP explained that the servers would remain up and functioning all the while they would keep an eye on anything that would be game breaking. Despite this, this wouldn't allow for major fixes in certain portions of the game that needed it, and this created a problem. It's frustrating when you want to see something really do something great, and then it, it doesn't go out that way. They broke the game. The game doesn't even work anymore. The game is not the game anymore. It's bizarre shit going on now. Um, they seem to have removed the advantages on hit, causing people to rock spam decks and making most moves useless. No, they just completely just fucked the entire combat system. It, it doesn't even work. Players began to lose hope on Slow Clap Studios, seeing how their beloved game was left by the wayside so the team could focus on more profitable ventures. Slowly and slowly, the player base diminished, as expected, and now the game sits in a state of what was and what could be. You check the Steam reviews and there it is, players disappointed at a game that could have potentially been a phenomenon. I really wish I could recommend this game because it has a lot of great ideas and a style and personality that really works for me personally. Mechanically, deck building is fun, and the fighting is full of tension and excitement. It comes so close to being a fantastic game that it's a real shame that I have to recommend against it. Feeling Fested, who gave it a positive review and has spent 717 hours in game, holy crap, Absolver isn't as fun as it used to be. Despite fixing many of the bugs that were present in the early stages of the game and adding a ton of new content, something about the game has evolved and sapped some of its unique charm. Further down, he says what has been fixed, and one of the interesting things he has said, and he's labeled it under PvP Veteran Monopoly, which is very interesting. There's a lot more knobs now, and I'm really happy for that simple fact. As I mentioned in the old review, Abdalber had previously catered to a handful of veterans who just honed their skills all day, making it really hard for new players to approach PvP at all. Whether lots of veterans have left the game or there has been an influx of new players, PvP has become a lot more friendly to people without the top tier skills. Thankfully, the manner in which Slow Clap Studios left the game does not exclude it from possible future updates, but at the moment, the game is at a perpetual standstill. Players, much like myself, are left wondering what will become of Absolver. The game currently runs for $29.99 USD, which I think is a little much considering the amount of content within the game and the state that it is in. However, if you manage to get your hands on it for a discounted price, then I do recommend it. I still play the game for a quick stress reliever or inducer here or there. 
If you ever see me in game, don't be afraid to punch me, because more than likely, I'm already on my way to do the same to you. Nothing personal, it's just that PvP matchmaking takes forever, and open world fights are just more fun. You know, at the end of the day, I really do hope the best for Absolver and his team. I would really like to see this game go somewhere. To be honest, I'm not really into fighters, however, this one really captured my attention. And that's my video, folks. If you guys enjoyed it, please drop a like. It really means a lot to me, especially now that YouTube and the government is slapping us with these bullshit rules. Also, if you're new to my channel, why not subscribe? I'd really appreciate it. And with all that said, my name is Scully, and I'm signing off. Goodbye.